Hello guys and welcome to this tutorial series where you will learn how to do advanced 2D platformer pathfinding for both the player but also for the enemies. And this guy right now is going to try to find his way to the player no matter where he is. And if you go somewhere else, this guy will try to follow the player. Alright, so let's get started. I have created a new Godot project and I named it 2D Platformer Pathfinding. You can download the project from my GitHub page and you will find the graphics I'm using in there. Or you can simply just create your own. We are going to start by creating the main scene. So click on 2D scene, rename this guy to main, click on scene, save scene, click on create folder, call these scenes and click on OK. And let's save this as main.tsen in here. Next, we're going to create the tile map scene. So click on scene, new scene, click on other node, and find the tile map in here, and click on create. We can rename the tile map to tile map pathfind. Then we're going to go here to tile set, click on new tile set, then click on the tile set again, set the size to be 32 by 32 pixels, then click on physics layers, and click on add element. Now we can press Ctrl S to save the scene. Then click on create folder and call this tile map pathfind then select all the text right click and copy and click on ok give this file name a bit more c sharp standard and click on save next we can click on scenes here open the tile map pathfind folder right click this guy and click on create new click on folder and type in gfx and click on ok then right click this folder and open in the file manager. And the graphics we're gonna need is a block and a graph point. And we're gonna add this guy in now. So if we have a look in the GFX folder, we can see the block and we can see the graph point.png file in here. We're now gonna add the graph point scene. So right click on the tile map path find, click on create new, and click on scene. Call this graph point and click on OK. Right click on the node, click on change type, and find the sprite in here. And click on change. Then drag the graph point.png file to the graph point sprite. Then press Ctrl S to save the scene. Next, go to the tile map path find scene. Then click here on tile set down there and drag in the block.png to the tiles. And it's going to say that the atlas texture was modified. So just click on yes here. Then go to select and click on the tile. And scroll down here and expand the physics and click on the physics layer zero. I click on the three dots and click on reset to the full tile shape and the collision shape will automatically be set up press ctrl s to save the scene next we can click on tile map then click on our tile and select the rectangle tool and i'm now going to draw a simple level in here i'm going to fast forward this so you guys don't have to sit and watch all right we now have a level here in part two and three we are going to add all the points to the graph and in part 4 and 5, we are going to connect the points. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.